store credit is something worth having in your WooCommerce store to facilitate extended coupon functionality. Apparently, in this era where everything has turned digital, store credit can be thought of a better gifting option for your loved ones. In fact, you could also offer store credit as a refund for a returned order without actually having to bear the sale loss. But however you choose to give store credits to customers, you want to be able to do it easily. This tutorial is all about creating and configuring store credits for your WooCommerce store. Let's get started in no time. Unfortunately, the inbuilt coupon setup in WooCommerce will not allow you to create a store credit. Therefore, we will need to have a coupon extension to provide this functionality. WebToffee's smart coupon for WooCommerce can efficiently create and provide store credits for your store very easily. We'll look into how store credits can be used for gifting. Once the plugin is installed and activated, navigate to the WooCommerce coupons from the WordPress dashboard. And then move on to the Store Credit tab. You can use the setup to configure store credits with customer's choice of denomination. These credits can be purchased by the customers for themselves or emailed as gifts to others in order to make multiple purchases. The extended model allows your customers to choose a template from available options. If enabled, the customers will get to choose a gifting template from the available options in the product page. This template will also be used for email. You can have a preview of the product and preview of the email. If Manage Tax is enabled, tax will be calculated only on discounted value instead of actual value. For example, if the order value is $110 and you apply a store credit of value $100, tax will be applicable only on $10. That is the order total after discount. To offer store credit or to buy a gift card for customers, it should be made available as a product in your store. And so we will have to create a zero prized product and associate that product in this field. Next field signifies the purchase options for store credit. Predefined allows the admin to set specific amounts. Custom allows the customer to enter an amount of choice. You can even choose both. On choosing predefined only, the predefined denomination values that must appear at the user end while purchasing store credit can be specified in this field. On choosing custom only, you can set the minimum and maximum amount that can be chosen for store credit. You can even choose both. Choose the order status for which the store credit has to be mailed from the drop down. You can also set the store credit coupon format by assigning prefix, suffix and length of the code with padding. Finally, save the settings. Now that the store credit is configured, let us see how it's been purchased by the customer. This is how the store credit product will look like. You can choose the required design from the available templates to purchase it. Here you can see predefined denominations and a custom field to specify the amount, this is because I've chosen custom and predefined in the purchase options. If I have chosen predefined only, then there won't be a custom field. In the same way, if custom is chosen, denominations will disappear. Anyway, I'll go with the birthday template and choose $500 as my gift card. Key in the recipient's email ID to which the gift has to be sent. Specify a customized message, say, happy birthday. You can even enter the sender's name and schedule the mail to be sent on the same day of your friend's birthday by simply selecting the date. Move the store credit to the cart and proceed with the payment as how a normal product is purchased. Soon after you will receive an order confirmation email. Next we will see how the received store credit can be redeemed. The gift card will appear like this at the receiver end. You can either copy the code and enter it add in the coupon code field. Or, move on to the My Account, My Store Credit section. And then click on a coupon code to get applied automatically. Now let's add the products into the cart. At the cart, you can see that the store credit amount is automatically redeemed. Proceed to checkout and then place the order to complete the purchase. Now you may want to know how much remainder you have in the store credit. For that, again, move on to the My Store Credit section and click on the Credit History. 
Here you will be able to see the entire redemption history. The customer can use the remainder amount for future multiple purchases. Also, if customers choose to purchase something that is more than the store credit that they have left, they will be able to easily take care of the difference at the checkout. Next let us see how a store credit or a refund can be sent to a customer. Sending a store credit to a customer is very easy. Move on to the email credit section. You can key in the email ID of the customer to which the refund has to be sent. Then, enter the credit amount and description if any. You can make the store credit voucher to not use in conjunction with other coupons by enabling the option. To manage your store credit email settings, click on the link. You will be taken to the WooCommerce email settings window. Click on the preview to have a look into how the mail will appear. Hit on send email, the refund amount as store credit will be mailed to the customer. The mail at the customer end will appear like this with the coupon code. You can also retrieve the code from my store credit section of their account page. The customer can now redeem the refund for their returned order in the same manner as how normal store credit is redeemed. Yes, it is as simple as that. You can use this coupon extension for both gifting purposes as well as for managing refunds of returned orders. Rather than struggling to find a workaround in your default coupon settings, make it easier by opting a simple coupon extension plugin, Smart Coupon for WooCommerce. Thank you for watching.